Hello students, welcome to class. Thank you for coming. I'm using uh, two computers. That's why I keep looking on this side. I have one computer in front of me over here where you can see me right here. And I have another computer over there. So it allows me to see what my lesson is and as I talk with you, okay? So that's why if you ever see me like looking over there is because I'm looking at this computer over here and I'm looking at this computer over here sometimes just to show me what my lesson is as I am doing it with you, all right? So welcome to lesson. So now let us begin with our lesson. Okay, now I want to let you guys know that I am using another ICT book which I have in the ICT lab in school. I do have it. And if you ever want to take a look at this book, it is in the library that ICT, you know, like I, on the side I have all my books. It's there, you can also look at it. We may do some lessons from here. I want to start it uh, today because I wanted us to keep our lessons a little bit more interesting just to make it a little bit more fun, right? Now, this particular one, uh, you can see it has to do with the history of computer. And I want you to know that I will do a separate lesson on it. Uh, not today, not in this lesson, but I'll do a separate lesson because it's a very big lesson and it's a very cool lesson. It's nice for us to know where computers come from. What was the first computer? Uh, what was the second computer maybe? How computers were made? Who made it? Why they made it? So we will do a whole separate lesson. I'll make it like a full movie. So you really enjoy doing it with me in a separate lesson, okay? But today we will just do something a little bit different. We will not do history, but we'll do something different. Now, this is parts of the desktop computer. I say desktop computer because a lot of us don't have this kind of computer at home. Some of us do, but many of us don't have a computer like this, okay? So some parts of the computers are the monitor for us to see. Then on the side, you can see it has a printer. Uh, some of us have printers, some of us don't. Then we have speakers. As you can see, speakers are listen, uh, listening to the sound. Uh, we tend to use headphones, but people love to have speakers. I actually have a speaker on my table right over there because I don't want to listen to headphone. I just like to have my music play from my table. It's just a little bit more interesting when that happens. Then I have my keyboard, okay, of course to write. And then I have my mouse and then all the way at the bottom, as you can see, is the CPU system unit. Now all of you know that the system unit is the computer. The system unit is the computer. That is the most important. If there is no system unit, there is no computer. You will simply have a monitor that doesn't work. You will have headphones, no sound. Your keyboard and your mouse will simply not work because the system unit is the computer and it must be there in order for the entire thing to work, okay? So the system unit is the most important, don't forget. Now, let's repeat some words so that we understand the words, uh, we understand the spelling because I know some of you in my classes still a little bit struggling with the spelling. So let's take a look at it. We have monitor, we have CPU, we have printer, we have speakers, we have keyboard, and we have mouse. We also have headphones. I have not included headphones here, but we do have headphones also. Moving on, digital files and what is it? Digital files and what is it? Okay, all of us, me, you, and everybody, we use computers. We use our phones, we use our iPads, we use laptops, we use desktops, we all use computers. And no matter what you do on a computer, we usually interact or we usually tend to use what is known as digital files. For example, let's look at some digital files. If you are listening to music, if you take on your phone and you just play some music and you're listening on your headphones, you're enjoying your music a little bit, guess what? That's a digital file. Your music is a digital file. A lot of you with me in class, we use Telegram. We're using a program called Telegram so that I can write to you and you can write to me. And I can read what you're writing and you can read what I'm writing. That is known as a text digital file. Then here is the other one, which is actually my favorite. And it's happening right now. If you're looking at me on your screen right now, you can actually see we are using video and we are using, we are using the sound of the video, okay? And we are using photographs also. So in this case, if you look at it right now, if you just look at it, uh, as I click on this, okay, I'm using my mouse to click, you can see that I am actually showing you 
pictures and I'm showing you video. I'm showing you pictures and I'm showing you video at the same time, right? You see there's a picture around me and then you see right here is the video. Both of them you're seeing at the same time. There, if you look at this picture right now, you can see she's taking photographs and then she's taking video using the digital camera. So what are the digital files that we have? We have music, we have text, we have photo and we have video movies, video files. So digital files, what is it? Music, text, photo and video movies. Okay, next. Let's look at some rules, but we are still sitting physically somewhere. And because of that, there are some rules that we need to pay attention to. For example, again, this is just for fun, right? If you look at this picture right now, you see somebody sleeping while they're supposed to be studying. I hope you're not sleeping, right? Then we see the guy right next, the student right next. Do you see that? Eating a big hamburger. Okay, not allowed. You're not allowed to be eating. Now, if you look on this side, you can see the person in front of the hamburger, the boy with the red hair. Guess what? He's eating chocolate, no candy, no eating chocolate. Now the reason why we don't want to eat while we are studying or we don't want to eat near a computer is because let's say if I eat something and my fingers get all sticky and you know it's like oil and stuff like that and then when I use my computer guess what happened? I simply dirtied my computer. That's what happened. I dirtied my computer. That's why there's no food allowed because you don't want to dirty your computer, you don't want to dirty your phone, you don't want to dirty your iPad because you know you, these are nice things and you don't want to get them dirty. Now there is a picture if you notice, actually it's the last one over here is the girl was having a bottle of water. She was having a bottle of water on the table which is absolutely a no-no. Having a bottle of water is a no-no. It's like a little revision. So there's no eating, there's no eating, there is no banging on the keyboard, right? This is important in school, I used to tell you, is remember when you're using the keyboard, please don't hit the keyboard too hard. You have to just play it very nicely. So when you guys are at home and when you're on your phone, on your iPad, don't try to press the buttons too hard or don't try to press the screen too hard. Just tap it slightly, it will work, okay? These are really cool things and they work. So there's no need for you to bang the buttons on it. Then, of course, there's no candy. The boy in the red hair is actually having uh, chocolate candy. And then, of course, there is no waters near the computer, please. No water near the computer. So only the girl on the top is actually more correct. That means you sit nicely and you use your computer. You sit nicely so you don't hurt your back and you actually enjoy using the computer. So, no eating, no banging the keyboard, no candy eating, of course no eating candy, uh, no water near the computers please and sit nicely when you're using the computer. Okay, these are the basic rules that you can follow at home. So this is the end of our lesson, thank you very much. If you are watching this lesson as homework, then I want to say thank you so much for doing it. If you're watching this lesson in class, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.